We're here to idea everyone, to fire up your curiosity and connect you with the people and ideas that shape our world. Watch, listen, understand, connect, create. Let's move the human story forward together. Hello and welcome to The Poetry of Science, a podcast which provides insight into new scientific research via the medium of poetry. I'm your host, Dr. Sam Illingworth, and each week I'll be introducing you to some of the latest scientific findings and sharing a selection of science-themed poetry. After all, we could all do with a little bit more poetry in our lives. In this episode, I'll be exploring new research, which has found that shipping poses a significant threat to the endangered whale shark. Greys and whites split the sea, mottled flecks of cream that simmer in the surf, hinting at the beasts that lurk beneath. Metallic vessels tower overhead, global fleets of freight and load that cut through filtered lanes with wanton ease, striking their unheeded prey with hidden blows of pride and gall and steel. A clumsy chant to stiff remains that fall to the floor without a sound. This poem is inspired by recent research published in the Proceedings of the National Academy of Sciences of the United States of America, which has found that industrialised shipping may be leading to a large number of whale shark deaths across the world. The whale shark is the largest fish in the world, growing to somewhere between 18 and 20 metres in length and weighing up to 10,000 kilograms. They are found in warm seas throughout the world and are a docile species that feeds on plankton and other tiny sea creatures. Whale sharks play an important role in the health of our oceans by regulating plankton levels and preventing these microscopic organisms from growing without restriction. The International Union for Conservation of Nature has declared the species endangered and whilst international trade in whale shark meat, fins and other products has been regulated since 2003, There continues to be a decline in whale shark numbers that cannot be explained by fishing or other related impacts alone. As whale sharks spend a large amount of time in surface waters and gathering coastal regions, one theory is that collisions with ships might be causing a substantial number of whale shark deaths. In this new study, researchers used satellites to track the movements of nearly 350 tagged whale sharks across the globe, alongside shipping vessel activity to identify areas of risk and possible collisions. These observations revealed whale shark hotspots which overlapped with global fleets of cargo, tanker, passenger and fishing vessels, the types of large ships that are capable of striking and killing a whale shark. In fact, over 90% of whale shark movements fell under the footprint of shipping activity. The researchers also found that whale shark tag transmissions were ending more often in busy shipping lanes than expected with the loss of transmission likely due to whale sharks being struck and killed by ships before sinking to the ocean floor. At present, there are no international regulations to protect whale sharks against ship collisions. However, it is hoped that the findings from this study can be used to inform future management decisions and protect whale sharks from further population declines. Now that you've heard the science, let me read the poem to you again. Greys and whites split the sea. Mottled flecks of cream that simmer in the surf, hinting at the beasts that lurk beneath. Metallic vessels tower overhead, global fleets of freight and load that cut through filtered lanes with wanton ease, striking their unheeded prey with hidden blows of pride and gall and steel. A clumsy chant to stiff remains that fall to the floor without a sound. In this section of the podcast, I'd like to share a poem written by another poet on a topic related to the science that has been discussed so far. In this episode, I'll be reading Requiem Shark by Rad Smith. 
Lewis Conrad, or Rad, Smith III, was an American poet, born in Iowa City in 1947 and grown up in Minnesota. He earned an MBA at the University of Virginia before studying poetry with Elizabeth Bishop at Harvard University. His debut collection, Distant Early Warning, was published posthumously in 2005, after Smith died in 1998, at the age of 51. Requiem Shark by Rad Smith This morning as I gulp five gleaming white capsules of shark cartilage to make me strong again, I want another look at the terrible eye with its nicotating membrane, those extravagant fins, the ampullae of Lorenzi freckling its snout, all of that huge body on the rippled sand in turtle grass with an entourage of neon blue barjacks and a remora wriggling in and out of its gill slits. I even want to touch it again. And this time not just with my fingertips, but my palm, love line and lifeline, my wrist, the underside of my forearm. I want to press my cheek against its chest, astonishing skin smooth as a headstone, want the touch that feels like a blow, the summoning touch, the touch of reckoning, the consummating touch, as well as the stinging, sun-blown touch of regret, the stranger's touch on the train, the reproachful touch, even the last touch of a human who has laid down with a shark, the touch I have spent my life so ignorant of, your touch as you unbutton my shirt, the searing unbearable touch. Thank you for listening to the Poetry of Science. Thank you very much for being with us for this episode of the Idea Me Show. Idea Me is a global platform. Our mission is to move the human story forward by sharing knowledge of the future. You can find us on all major audio networks at www.radioideame.com, on YouTube and Vimeo. Please subscribe.